So today, you'll be learning how to connect your Hollyland Lock M2 wireless microphone to your MacBook. So for this, all you'll need is a Type-C to Type-C cable, as well as the camera receiver that you got with your wireless microphone. So begin by removing the camera receiver, as well as the microphone or microphones that you're going to be using. And then once you've done all of that, you want to plug one side of the Type-C cable into the receiver and you want to plug in the other side into your MacBook. Once it's been plugged in, you want to first start by confirming that the microphones are connected to the receiver and you'll notice that if it has a blue, steady blue light, it means they've been paired successfully. If the light is still blinking, then it means they're still connecting. So once you've confirmed that they've been connected, you now want to go to your MacBook. From here, if it's your first time connecting, you should see a prompt appearing on your screen. And what you want to do is simply allow the connection between the mic receiver and your MacBook. Once you've done all of that, you now want to come to the control center icon here and you want to click on it. Go to sound settings, go to sound, sorry. And you should see this arrow button, select that. And then you want to click on sound settings. From here, underneath input and output, you want to ensure that input has been selected. And then you should see wireless microphone. So you want to select that so that you can start using the Lock M2 as you're using your MacBook. You can also tell that they've been connected success successfully because you have this input level. And as you speak into the microphone, you notice the input going up and down as you talk into the microphone. So now you can start using your Lock M2 with your MacBook. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.